to find the C value that guarantees the mean value theorem for this, the mean value theorem is this. F of C times B minus A. Well, this is A. This is B. So 3 minus 1 is equal to the area under the curve with the intervals from 1 to 3. The function is 9 over x to the third, and it's dx. So basically, we're trying to find f of c. But once we find f of c, it wants to know where c is. Once you f, f of c is an output, a value. Once you find f of c, you want to then find out the c value that gave you that output. Where did it get the output? So. What we're going to do here is, what you notice is you have f of c times 2 equals, well, let's integrate this. Well, do you understand that's 9x to the negative third? So you add 1 to that, you get x to the negative second. So doesn't that become... Does that look right? Or it should be a negative 2 on the bottom, but I just put it in front. OK. So let's calculate this real quick. f of c is going to be equal to, could I divide this 2 over as well? So it's going to be some answer divided by 2. Now, I first plug in 3 or 1. It's f of b minus f of a. So you start with the top one. So you first plug in 3. So it's going to be negative 9 over 2 times 3 squared. Kind of small, sorry. Minus, that's the first piece, negative 9 over 2 times 1 squared. So that's the, integr that's the integral plug in b. That's the integral plug in A. B is 3. A is 1. And we're dividing by 2 because basically I just divided both sides by 2. I move that 2 over to get F of C by itself. So it looks like we got F of C is equal to, doesn't it look like uh, negative 1 half? Minus, um, would that become a negative 9 halves? all over 2, which that looks like we got a, what is that, it becomes a positive 9, so 9 plus a half would be 8 halves, 8 halves is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, now is that my answer? No, that's f of c, meaning the average height of this graph on this interval is 2. The average height is 2. I want, where does your graph get a height of 2 on the interval? So I take my original equation, 9 over x to the third, and set it equal to 2. Because don't I want to find out where my original equation has an output of 2 and solve for x? x will be where a c value that has an output of 2. Now, you could do different ways, but isn't this basically a proportion? Cross multiply. So I have 2x to the third equals 9. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x to the third equals 9 over 2. How do you get rid of the third? You cube root, or you could think of it as one-third power. But you're going to cube root both sides. And so x equals just the cube root of 9 over 2. And that's your answer. Oh, actually, do you understand that c? x equals, which is really the c value. You could put c equals. 
the cube root of this. I'm not going to try to figure that out. That's the answer. At this point, it's some value between 1 and 3. This is some value between 1 and 3. You have an output of 2. 